Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day. On today's problem is node at a distance and it is a medium level problem. So the problem basically says that in this binary tree, we have to figure out the number of special nodes. What is a special node? A special node is a node from which there exists at least one leaf node whose distance is exactly k. So for example, if we consider 1 and the value of k is 2, so the leaf nodes starting from this particular uh, node are 4, 5, 8 and 7, right. Out of these 4, 5 and 7 are the leaf nodes which are present at a distance of exactly 2 which is k, right. So from 1, 4 is present at a distance of 2, 6 is 5 is present at a distance of 2, 7 is present at a distance of 2, right. Since there is at least one node, one leaf node which is present at a distance of 2, we are going to take this particular node as special node and increment our count with 1. Now similarly for 3, uh, when we see that uh, there how many leaf nodes are there which are at a distance of 2, there is exactly one leaf node 8, right. So the total answer is 2 and those nodes are node 1 and node 3, right. This is what we want. Now how can we solve this particular problem? Let me just take this particular tree. So we will be given this particular tree in the input, right. Now let us say we are traversing through the tree. So let us say we follow this particular path. We start from 1, then we go to 2, then we go to 4. Now that I have reached a leaf node, let us say we were maintaining a path from root to the current node. Right. So, the path will currently have 1, 2 and 4. Right. Now, what will happen? This is my current path. This is my last node. And I know that I am currently at a leaf node. So, what I am going to do? Let us say the size is 3. Right. The array or the vector will be 0 base like this. The size is 3. I am going to find out the position size which is the vector size minus 1 minus k. Right. So, what it will do? it is going to find me the position or the node which is present at a distance of k from the current last node, right. So, last node is this one, the value 3 is uh, the size of the vector, so 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 minus k is 0 because k is 2 in this particular case, right. So, what it will do? It will go to index 0. Now, I want to figure out with whether this position I have figured out, first of all, it should be greater than minus 1. If p is greater than minus 1, I am going to consider this node which is at a distance of exactly 2 from the leaf node, right. So if the value of k was 1, then it would have been 3 minus 1 minus 1, that would have been 1, right. So 1 will be the node or the node at index 1 will be the node which is present at a distance of 1 from this particular leaf node, right. So basically, when you calculate p as size of vector minus 1 minus k, it is going to give you the distance or the node with the distance of k from the current node. Now, if you evaluate this expression on the leaf node, you will be able to figure out which of its parents is at a distance of exactly k. For 4, if the value of k is equal to 2, I am going to do 3 minus 1 minus 2, it is going to give me 0. So, index 0 has this element 1, which is this one element, right. So, it is the second parent like this, right. So, this is one way of finding the exact kth parent. Now, what we can do is you can insert this particular node. Since we will not have any values like this, we will just have nodes which do not even contain a data element. What we can do is we can take these nodes and insert into a data structure like a set or a map and then just return the size of the set at the end. Now, there are multiple other ways of finding the parent or the kth parent of the current node, but this is the most simplest one in this particular case. If you want to even optimize this, you can uh, study something about binary lifting. I am not going to explain this here. This is a slightly advanced concept. You might rarely need it. But in any case, if you want to find out the kth parent of any node, you can use binary lifting. So that approach will work in login. Right. This is working in constant time, but you will also have to maintain this whole path. Right. So the space complexity is O of height of the tree. Right. But in that particular case, the space complexity is reduced and you can figure out the kth parent in log logarithmic time, right. So here we use just this simple method by maintaining the path. So let me show you what happens eventually when we do the dry run. So basically, first of all, you will have to check if the node exists. If the node is null pointer, you can just return, right. Otherwise, you push path, you will have a path vector, you will push the current node into the path vector. 
right so if leaf that means you will check whether the current node is a leaf or not then you will apply this particular operation right let's say you apply this particular operation then you will call your dfs to the left as well as dfs to the right and then you can just when you return from this particular function you can just do path dot pop back to remove the element from the back right so this is how you can solve this particular problem so let me give a quick try run what will happen so when we reach here first this particular node in the root node the value or the node is not null so i'm going to move forward then i'm going to push this particular node into my path vector so let's say one is pushed right now i'll check whether this is a leaf or not this is not a leaf so i'll dfs to the left now when i dfs to the left i'll reach at this particular position now what i'll do i will check whether this is null pointer or not it is not null pointer so i'm going to push it into my path vector now i push it here now i check whether this is a leaf this is not a leaf so i dfs to the left right now i reach this node 4 right it is not a null pointer i'm going to push 4 now if this is a leaf yes this is a leaf so i'm going to apply this particular operation now when i do this this node 1 will be inserted to my answer vector so 1 is now inserted in my answer set or answer vector or answer map whatever you can say right it can uh, but be careful choose a data set which stores only unique elements so more preferably a set or a map right now when i when i do this particular thing idfs to the left it is null so i'm going to return then idfs to the right it is also null then i return and then i just pop back from the particular from the current node so when i pop back it will be removed then i come to come back to 2 and then i am going to push go to the right and then push back 5 now is 5 a leaf yes 5 is a leaf for 5 also 1 is going to be the node which is at a distance of k right so i am going to push it again or insert it again into my data structure but since it only stores unique elements it will only store the this particular node once right similarly this will continue and when i go back to 2 this particular 5 will be removed since i have visited both children of 2 this particular 2 will be removed how is it getting removed from this particular uh, thing the last line that i have written that i am popping the last element from the path vector right when i go to 1 now i will traverse the right half and continue the process in a similar fashion right now let me show you the final code how i have written it so i have used a path vector I have created an unordered set of answer, both are of types node pointer. Right, unordered set will help me to uh, reduce the average case complexity to O of 1 for inserting the elements into the set. Right, now I just call the DFS at the root. If not node, that means if node is null point, I am just going to return. Otherwise, I push it into my path vector. Now, how do I check whether this is a leaf or not? I am going to check if both left and right nodes are null pointer. Right. So, if this is null, it is going to turn false and if I take not, the false will convert to true. So, if both of them are uh, null pointer, that means I am currently at a leaf node. Now, I am going to calculate the position P that I need, which is path dot size minus 1 minus k. If P is greater than minus 1, I am going to push back this particular uh, ans node into my answer set. Right. So, path of P is containing a node pointer and I am going to push that node pointer into my answer set. Now I just call dfs to the left, dfs to the right and at the end when I return from this function I am just going to pop back the last element from the path which is the current node. Right. Now I, I just return the size of the answer set and this will be my final solution. So let me quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works and the solution is absolutely correct. So you see this passes all the test cases and the solution is correct. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this video really really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for today. Till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.